Oh, so you're thinking about hanging out in Davis Square. Well, in this video, I'll tell you the seven best spots to eat, drink, and hang out so you don't have to look through all those Google and Yelp reviews. Stay tuned. For you outdoorsy types, the first great thing about Davis Square is the path leading to it. The Somerville Community Path takes you clear from Alewife and Cambridge, almost to Winter Hill in Somerville. This path is not only convenient to Davis and the Davis Square Tea Stop, it also has some workout equipment along the way, a dog park at the end of the trail, and some very interesting art installations. If the Somerville Trail wasn't artsy enough for you, then you're in luck, because the trail spits you out right next to one of the artsiest little theaters in all of the greater Boston area, the Somerville Theater. The Somerville Theater is an independent film theater that hosts independent films from all over the world. It also occasionally hosts orchestral shows and burlesque shows. I can tell that wasn't enough art for you. And if you're looking for more, you only have to go to the basement of the Somerville Theater for the third reason to love Davis Square, which is the Museum of Bad Art. This basement gallery is one of the few branches of the Museum of Bad Art. The Museum of Bad Art overall has over 700 paintings, sculptures, and pictures that are just awful. And at any given day, you can see 25 to 30 in one of the galleries. If walking back and forth in the Somerville Trail and all through the art galleries got you hungry, then the fourth reason to love Davis Square has got you covered. The Rosebud American Kitchen and Diner is pretty iconic in Somerville. Maybe partially because it's made out of one of those old converted rail cars, and partially because it has a great menu that's almost all American fare. Now, it does have some great lunch and dinner options, but whenever I go to a diner like this, I always like to get breakfast, and more specifically, I would recommend the chicken and waffles here. But maybe you're not interested in American food, and if you're a southerner like me, you know it can be particularly difficult to find good Mexican food up north. That's where the Painted Burrow comes in. Painted Burrow not only has great margaritas, an open air eating area where you can gawk at Davis Square passerbys in style, it also has great enchiladas, fajitas, and tacos. I particularly enjoy the Baja fish tacos and the carnitas tacos. After a long day of eating and criticizing art, you might want to sit down for a drink and some fine live Irish music, and the Burns a great spot for that. The Burns is a Somerville classic. It has great brews from breweries all over the area. It also has live music every night. Whether you're looking for folk, classical Irish music, or rock, and on the weekends, they open up the back for even more live music, accompanied by an excellent dance floor. Once you've partied the night away at the Burren and need a good spot to recover, just a few steps away is the Diesel Cafe. The Diesel Cafe is a great all-around hangout spot. They got plenty of tables to set up your laptop for work, or just to sit around and chat with friends. They've also got a pool table, and on top of that, they have an excellent menu with various types of coffees, teas, and breakfast items that you can get throughout the day. I personally go there and enjoy a nice hot cup of chai tea from time to time. So those are my top seven spots in the Davis Square area. If you want to know about the other squares or the other neighborhoods in Somerville and Cambridge nearby in general, just like and subscribe for more content like this. If you're thinking about moving to the area, we're a team of realtors who help people move to the area every single day, so feel free to call, text, email us, however you want to communicate with the information on the screen, and otherwise, have a great rest of your day. Bye. Yet the realm is so close by It's like a